Well, believe it or not, summer is almost over. <laughs> That hurts what? to say. I no, hate it's saying okay. that. 2020 is almost over. Well, there you go. <laughs> Labor Day is next Monday, and of course, that marks the unofficial end of summer. But before we dive completely into autumn, I already have. I decorated. And all those fantastic <laughs> fall flavors, there's still plenty of time to enjoy some fresh summer recipes that are both great for your budget and your waistline. WW Ambassador Mary Vogliano joins us now with some tips and an exciting recipe for zoodles. I don't. I, I didn't don't even know. know. Is I that did. what it is? Is that what it called? I don't Mary? know why I pulled into Oprah there. Zoodles. <laughs> zoodles. <laughs> zoodles. Hi, Mary. You can't say zoodles without sounding like Oprah. I'm sorry. <laughs> zoodles. <laughs> All right. So these are zucchini <laughs> noodles in a creamy corn sauce, right, Mary? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is the time of year where the zucchini and the corn, everything's in season. This is a great recipe, as you know. You we're getting back into a routine again, right? Whatever that looks like with the kids going back to school and summer coming to an end. So we're always on the lookout for easy, quick, but healthy recipes. One of the best things you can do is just start getting into the habit of including more vegetables. Vegetables are zero points on WW. And this recipe, what it does is it takes zucchini. So there's mm -hmm. a lot of cool things about this recipe. It takes zucchini and, um, you know, you just, you spiralize it. I have a little, little gadget that does it, but you could do it, you know, on your food processor or just using a, a vegetable peeler, or you can buy them already spiralized. But that's, that's like in place of your pasta in this recipe. So you're not making like a noodle, like no. banana bread noodle and use the banana, use the zucchini. You're it, instead actual... replacing it with a strip of zucchini. Yeah. Yeah, so you can yeah, do this. Yeah, I know, it's amazing, right, Dave? <laughs> it is kind of cool. You can, I mean, I use the, the zucchini noodles for the entire base of this, but some people, what they like to do is, you know, use pasta and then kind of bulk it up so you get a larger okay. portion by adding the zucchini noodles. So it's however you like to do it, but it's just a great tricky way to get more vegetables into your meal planning. And also it's delicious. I mean, if you've ever tried them, they're actually really good. And the sauce that we're using on here is another really cool trick. We use roasted fresh corn. So I just roasted it with a little bit of butter. And then I threw it into the blender, like half of the corn into the blender with some water to make a sauce that feels almost like a cream sauce, but there's no cream in it. Mm. Oh, see. Now, that's a you, good trick. Do you see why you have to say zoodles that way? I know. Because it's that cool. It's like zoodles. Zoodles. All right, uh, Mary, you also want to talk about freezing stuff, right? Yes, because please. that's that really makes sense. Well, yeah, it's a time saver. I mean, I, 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 I like to spiralize my, I mean, I do this with tons of vegetables. I do it with um, cauliflower. I can make rice out of cauliflower. You just cook it and put it through, you know, your, your blender and make it into like a rice. But it takes a little time. So if you want to do it in advance, like I, this is about six cup of zoodles right here and they're fresh and I can just throw them in the freezer so that when I'm busy on a weeknight and I need to throw together a quick dinner, I just thaw them out and they're ready to go. But this recipe literally is 10 minutes of prep time, 10 minutes of cook time, and it's on the table. That's and it's great. super easy. That's awesome. I realize now that I have only contributed zoodles to this interview. <laughs> but that's so very much. important. I never even knew zoodles was a word. Did you know this, Mary? She did. She knew. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm a little bit obsessed with them. So it's kind of like, you know, a thing for me. Thank you so much, Mary. <laughs> Good tips. And the recipe sounds so great. We're going to have that posted for you at PittsburghTodayLive.com. So look for it there, along with a link to WW for more recipes and inspiration. <laughs>